Let's start with number one. The, the playground, 600 feet long by 210 feet wide, was completely asphalt, with the exception of a 40 feet by 60 feet area of grass. How many square feet of playground area is asphalt? How would you solve this question? You may select more than one answer. I give you one of these? Sorry. So the playground is 600 feet long by 210 feet wide. Completely asphalt, with the exception of this 40 by 60 feet area of grass. How many square feet of playground area is asphalt? That's the question, right? So remember, we're always working with our two-part method. Our first piece of our method is identify the question. And the second part of our method state our path, or another way of saying that, how are we going to figure out the answer? So, Tina says A and B. It's only A. Neftali says it's only A. I think it's A too. Only A? A. 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 Resounding A. I like that. Okay, so, but, but talk me through it. So, so how'd, you, how'd you come to that, uh, Tina? Well, first you have to find the area of the playground, then you have to find the area of the grass and subtract the grass from the, the castle. Okay. So she said, first we have to find the area of the playground. So now we're stating our path. So we've identified the question. The question is, how much is the asphalt, right? And so the first step she told us to do, she said we have to find the area of the playground. So it's 600 feet long by 210 feet wide. And what's the second thing? You have to find the area of the grass. And there's a little grass patch here, and that pat patch is a 40 by 60. And then what's the next step? Then you have to subtract the grass from the, from the asphalt. asphalt. So here you have the asphalt, 600 times 210, and then you have the, the grass. is 60 times 40. So whatever that 600 times 210 is, I don't know what that is. Thank you. 126,000. And then 40 times 60 is 2,400. So essentially, you're subtracting the grass from the asphalt and then that will give you the asphalt. So everyone said A. So A is find the area of the playground, then find the area of the grass, and then subtract the area of the grass from the playground. So that's A. Okay. Make sense? The reason why it couldn't be D is because D had these same steps, except they were backwards. It was saying subtract this, the 126,000, from that, 2,400, so yeah, us. okay? Make sense to everyone? Make sure we're all together on this. So on the GED test, these are the kind of questions we're gonna come across. They might not, might not always be, you know, what's the answer, but they might be which one of these fit, or which one of these will be true, so some of those type of questions.